So in my other videos, I often talk about my friends on the other side or the angelic realm. It's because I am the voice of the angelic realm and I'm using capital V in the word voice. I am the source of divine truth because the other side said they granted me this title. But they said, Christine, you earned this. You earned this title. You earned the ability to be our voice via several acts of blind faith that you took in not only your gift and your connection to us, but in the guidance that we're giving you itself. Like Asahara, many cult leaders claim a direct line of communication with God or a deity. Laurentian University neuroanatomist Michael Persinger believes he has found an explanation for this phenomenon. We now realize that all experience comes from brain activity, or even religious experiences are a product of a certain pattern of brain stimulation. Persinger believes that when the brain's temporal lobe, the region responsible for comprehension, is overstimulated by electromagnetic activity, cerebral seizures can develop that may lead to delusions. These delusions can cause individuals to believe that they've had an encounter with a divine being or beings. Persinger claims that he can induce these delusions in healthy test subjects by overstimulating their temporal lobes. He does this by generating electromagnetic fields in their brains. Persinger's research team uses an EEG to record these quasi-mystical experiences as they occur. The common experience is the feeling of knowing, hearing your voice called, your name called hearing knowledge being given to you. If the person personally identifies them as being God or some other deity, that's the powerful phenomenon that drives individuals. These are the angels up there. Here's, you know, my little connection. And here's me down here saying hello, right, to everybody. Persinger believes that cult leaders who hear voices suffer from temporal lobe epilepsy a condition that naturally overstimulates the brain with electromagnetic activity. There is a distribution of cult leaders which are convinced that they are doing this by cosmic consent. Christine, we're going to use you and your life and your acts of blind faith as an example for other people so that they know how much faith and confidence you have in your ability, in the messages that you deliver via actions that back up your words and almost invariably they have to proselytize they have to spread the word shoko asahara preached armageddon another delusional cult leader adolfo constanzo claimed that the voices of gods urged him to sacrifice humans because they want me speaking for them and they want to be able to reach as many people as possible so one day i will have to put my life in their hands and it's do you trust us? How much do you trust us? 